we all know about your music career and everything you have achieved, but um, I'm really curious to hear about your motivations when it comes to the idea of starting your charitable activity as well, because I think this is an aspect that indicates a lot about you as a person and a lot about you when it comes to your, you know, a vision in terms of life and uh, and so on. Thank you. Um, so a- after uh, what happened, um, I, I, I was for anyone who probably probably doesn't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were at home writing our, our third record in Chicago. Mm-hmm. I left, I was leaving a writing session and I heard a woman screaming for help. Um, I ran and intervened in the process and I, I managed to rescue her, but the, the assailant, the guy who was strangling her, he was, you know, he was strangling her and he was, you know, he was punching her and she was, just covered in blood and incapacitated by the time wow. that I reached her. It was, it was late at night and nobody was around. He managed to pick up a rock. And while I was distracted, you know, I was, I was holding her up and I'm not a very tall yeah. character in real life, you know? <laughs> so I relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The five sixers. Short kings. <laughs> 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 yeah like i was it i was it was a well-placed kick like you know like i was running full speed and like sideways with my my legs out and i got him in the ribs that's how i was able to you know at least subdue him from that but he he cracked my skull open uh, with a rock and so when i woke up i came up uh from the coma seven days later i was so overwhelmed by the love that was sent my way up into the ether and down into the my hospital bed you know Um, nathan and i were just so overwhelmed with that um smashing pumpkins did a benefit show for me at the metro venue's coming up again you can tell it's a very special place in my heart yeah um and billy corrigan he's one he was an idol of mine you know if, yeah. if I if I could say I've ever had an idol, I mean, he would be the closest thing. Yeah. Um, and he even like took my recovery under his wing. He, he, he flew us to Arizona, Nathan and I both, um, to stay in a cabin with him while he was doing some writing and recording. And it was just the most surreal experience ever. Wow. I mean, he brought in Reiki healers, uh, sweat lodges, like these gurus. I mean, it was incredible. And it, it took me a year to re- recover from that mentally and physically. Um, and I was stuck at a certain level until all of that really turned a corner. So anyways, we were so overwhelmed with that, that we, uh, in the wake of it, we decided to devote our lives to giving back. So we started, uh, we launched 501c3 charity bomb and we produce benefit shows to raise money for a variety of um causes mm-hmm. we've net we've migrated to the mental health space um particularly preventative mental health for children mm-hmm. teaching them eq tenant the tenets of eq to fortify their emotions um instill confidence um, you know, help kids be strong and independent and, you know, emotionally resilient. And that's because that started when we both had our kids. So Nathan's son is Atlas and mine, my man is Vincent mm-hmm. and he is the center of my universe. I mean, you talk about experiencing a love that you couldn't even imagine exists on the planet when you have a kid that's it that's it that that's that's got the that's godliness to me wow. so yeah that's how we that's how we wound up at this um in this career path and at this destination 